Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want us to do something more personal. Uh, you guys know I have worked with so many brands in the past and I still work with a bunch of brands. And uh, I just feel like there's so much that people don't know and so much that actually goes behind the scenes. It's not gonna be like a general video about like educating things, but I just want to share some of my experiences that I have gone through uh, as a creator. This is not to like throw shade or um, I don't know just start a drama or anything like that but I just feel like there are certain things that like brands are now trying to do so they can get away with it um, I just feel like there's a couple things this is going to be like I hope not super long video but I'm gonna try my best to make it as concise but also like as informative as possible I feel like we already have to kind of accept that like this kind of job that we are doing uh, It might not be traditional to most uh, companies, but it is out there and it's very very um, Gonna be here for a very long time and I just don't think it's going anywhere So I feel like people really has to treat this like a job I mean I treat this like a job, but I feel like brand also has to treat this like it's a job I feel like sometimes brands when they are working with creators they like think that this is not like our job or we are doing this as a, some side hustle or something. I mean, there are certain people who are doing that, which is totally fine. But I just feel like even if you're treating as a side hustle, you're expecting that you're gonna get something in return, which means that your time is worth money. Like you are not just wasting your time for nothing. Because I think there's this big misconception when it comes to side hustles is that like, if you're spending time on it, that doesn't mean that you're getting anything in return or you're getting monetary value. That's very wrong. I have started many side hustles that I have ended it too, but I still got money out of it. It wasn't plenty, but I still got money out of it. So what I'm trying to come at is like, I feel like they have to understand like this is worth your time. This experience that I'm gonna share with you guys, this is a specific brand, and I'll say the name of the brand because I don't think I'm ever going to work with them, and I'm also not going to work with this agency probably ever again, and I would not recommend it. So, this company that I am work, I felt I was about to work with, is called Meridian. It's like a body trimmer company. Y you guys know I have worked with other companies in the past, and I have had actually very good experience over the years. So this one was very weird because I actually was never even considering working with them um, I'm gonna just show up the screenshot right here that like this wasn't even me it literally just says you just have been invited to an exclusive campaign for Meridian good luck right let me explain a little bit about this app this it's called tribe so tribe is like a one of those uh, apps I wouldn't even say it's an agency it's like that legit in the higher platform it's just like an app that they work they have campaigns and then you can apply for it and the trick is this, like most of the time, legit companies, I have to be honest, like I have notes, uh, that like when you apply for the campaign, you're just pitching yourself, right? But generally you're not like submitting a mock-up or taking more time for it. Most of the time, these companies or the, this, the way the tribe is made for, they asking you to create content beforehand. And that's kind of like, ridiculous to me that because I'm like you're not paying me and there's a chance that I might not get paid at all but I'm still wasting my time to create a content I'm not even just saying like wasting time because 90% of the time there's they can decline you and they say this even in the app too like you can get declined very easily and I get that part but what I'm confused is like there sometimes they ask you to even create a new content or buy the product for it I just feel like that is so ridiculous. Anyways, that's besides the point, but this is just a little bit about the app. So this one was just like, oh, because I'm invited, I was like, okay, I must have a higher chance, right? Then it just says in the screenshot, they reviewed my Instagram profile because I submitted a mock-up. And the thing is, in this mock-up, actually, I didn't submit anything with their product in it because I never used their product, but I submitted some similar product that I have used in the past. And it was like a funny video too, like it wasn't anything intense because they said like they want a video, like a TikTok style video and also some pictures. And I submitted very similar ones from the past, different brand, not the same brand. And they actually sent me a message saying that like they are very interested in this proposal and will approve it. Can you give me the address for phone number in order to ship it and stuff like that, right? 
Okay, so um, like a couple of weeks goes by and I get a uh, you know, package in the mail and they send me their body trimmer and the spray and everything, right? So I think this is after this, the problem starts. So because they already sent me the product and stuff and I showed you guys in the like the message that it says like he said they will approve it right that already gave me the uh, like a confidence that like I don't you know I'm gonna get money from it like they said they're gonna approve it I'm not gonna be like handed strange so um, I create the content and honestly I spent time for it like because I already dedicated the content day for just that day not just for this but a bunch of other things and I shot all the content that day like I think I shot like maybe four or five content that day and almost all of them got approved except this one uh, so I was very confused because I shot the very funny style video and it wasn't anything different It was literally the same style video that I submitted as a mock-up. So I thought like they would be interested in it So and bunch of images and I also took my time to edit them as well to match their style and aesthetic too and I don't know. I just thought like it would work then literally the next day goes by because I also send them a message that like oh like do we want me to submit it and stuff and they're like they're looking for a short dem demonstration on the product on the arm and chest hair right first of all they did not say this at all whatever right but I just said like oh I already shot the content I will submit it but you know it's a uh, this very similar content that I sh shot it then literally the next day goes by, I receive a message from the app saying that my content is declined. So that is where the problem starts and I was very confused by it because like I thought like I'm working with this brand and at least they would give me a reason to say why they declined like instead of just like just declined. Like that's kind of ridiculous because um, I just feel like if we weren't like working together or they didn't send me the product i would have been like okay you know that's fine whatever so this is where like it was getting weirder because i was just confused so i contact the brand like i not, because i cannot contact the brand because it's not directly with brand so i contact this um the app person whoever is their community specialist bella and she's like I explain my story and she's like I can see what happens like um, it's so weird that like you know they send you the product and like uh, end up declining you uh, she's like just stay close to me I will give you a feedback on this and actually the campaign manager for this campaign is currently on a leave uh, I will get back to you which is so ridiculous to me that I'm like what kind of um, agency or even the app it is that like while the campaign is in progress, the person who's in charge of the campaign is on a leave. Makes no sense. Okay, then I get an email from this girl, May, whatever. Uh, I'll insert a screenshot here. She's saying that apparently Brand is not thrilled with my content as they saw they thought it was inappropriate and highly offensive uh, because you refer to the product and act of men's grooming as gay or embarrassing, which is not one of the messages that Meridian wants by any means. So that's why I was just so confused and I also sent the message again saying that like that was not my intention at all and also I you know I will also insert the video here afterwards so you guys can, can go watch it it got a bunch of views and you know i untagged the brand and everything it's not like their name on it anywhere but no one was offended it was a tiktok style video that it was funny everyone made this style video i was just so surprised by it because i don't i was just so confused like i feel like nowadays i just i mean at this point i don't care anymore the entire point of me making this video is just that like so i feel like some brands maybe can watch it or get advice or maybe some people also can understand like what creators go through especially in this part i guess it was also partially my mistake that like i should have apparently in the inside of tribe app there is this new feature that you can do pre-approval but you have to ask a brand so they can do pre-approval so you can at least get half of your fee but i guess 
I mean, only reason I'm saying this is because like he literally said in a message that he will approve it. So I didn't even think that pre-approval was a thing. And I have worked with Tribe like I think only one one time before. There was no such thing as pre-approval, so I didn't even know. So I just thought like I'm gonna get my money. I'm gonna get my fee. But now I just you know I didn't get anything. Yeah, there's a product, but I didn't get anything. So. That means I've wasted my time to do this. So I'm just saying like it's so ridiculous to me that like brand can just walk away with no loss but me walking away with the time I spend on this and the time I'm spending on to communicate this and the worst part for me that I think doesn't make sense to me that like they're declining with no reason but they don't give me a reason and I have to go through multiple hoops so I can get a response from a brand. I, I just don't understand that. I feel like this is why I was coming at from the beginning of this video is that like brands are not treating creators as like creators. They are most of the time looking at the creator as like, oh, this is a billboard or this is a place that I can advertise and I want them to do exactly this. But I feel like that's such a wrong mentality because like billboards or like the advertising on TV, advertising on I don't know, like Facebook is very different because they are, you're putting your own content, like brand is putting their own content. But when it comes to the content that you're creating with a creator, it's kind of like a collaboration, like that puts together. It's not just brand, it's the some part of like the content creator as well. Because that's my content, like that's my profile. Uh, I can just put anything there. And I can just put anything there that makes sense for your brand. It also has to make sense for me because I'm also a brand as well. So I, I just don't think that made sense because then there are a couple of brands that I have also worked with that like I immediately said no because they're trying to make the content look more like an ad. Like I know it's already an ad and I totally get that, but I feel like I want to make it as organic or as fun, as unique as possible so people can also just enjoy it or they don't just say like, Merch just got a buck out of this or Merch just got this or any content creator got this But because I feel like it should be at least somewhat, somewhat fun. And that's what I did in this video and you can again go check it out that like no one was offended nothing was extreme there and i have done very very similar video that's on my pinned tiktok that you can see and not it was another brand they did not take an offense i feel like that's the big difference with some companies that are traditional and versus some companies they understand the tiktok they understand the new generation gen z but i think some brands they're still stuck in this like old school old mentality like traditional mindset that like oh this is like an advertising and we have to treat it like an advertising we have to make it look like a, a educational like me just ch you know using that trimmer to trim my uh, chest or whatever yeah like technically i can do that but like what makes you think that that's gonna be so interesting or somewhat like entertaining that people want to watch like that's what i have to think for myself like anytime i am creating a content that doesn't resonate with my audience i am losing followers yes i could be getting money from this but i also have to think long term to see how it's going to make sense for my brand just a little bit of thoughts that like i got from this campaign and there are other campaigns that i have like learned many things from it and that's why like I am the entire point of me I'm making this video because like there's no way I'm ever ever going to work with Meridian and I'm not going to work with Tribe the app so I would link them not I'm actually not gonna link them down below but I'm just saying like to any creators I will put the names here that like please don't use it um, because I think the entire concept and the, the way they are dealing with the creators is not really fair I think creators are the one making this business and making this marketing work uh, this type of marketing and we should be really really appreciated and i don't think it's fair that we are treated in this way um these were just little my thoughts and experience uh i hope it was more clear i tried to i tried my best to keep it as uh, organized as possible uh, so you guys can follow through the process uh, but i just wanted to get it off my chest and share it with you guys so you can see uh it's not just you know you accept the campaign then to chain you get the money there's so many loops and ups and downs that goes through until um, that paycheck hits your bank account uh, I mean, there's even a big topic about like how long it takes to get that money. 
like it is ridiculous that like you guys will not believe it like normal people I mean I'm not saying that normal people like but people generally get paid every two weeks or every week we get paid 30 net business days or 45 days 45 net days 60 days some of them are even 90 days so I'm just saying that there is so much is wrong with the way they're doing it that like it, it just it doesn't make any sense uh, but that will be definitely another topic to talk about um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, I'll see you guys next week with another video I have another haul coming up